Uh, buenos dias, my name is Tania Rojas and uh, my position at the ESD is uh, Migrant Out of School Youth slash Health Coordinator and um, that's my position here and I feel like uh, I carry other positions um, in my life. I'm a daughter, I'm a mother, I'm an aunt, a tia, <laughs> and uh, I'm you know, a partner and a sister, and I think that it's hard to disconnect those identities um, from who you bring to to work and um, what you bring to your work. So, um, yeah, all of the above plus more. So. I think there is no average for me. Days can look very different in my role. We serve all of Western Washington, so many of our days are spent on the road, traveling uh, to different corners of the state, and uh, many days are spent here locally, meeting with uh, families, meeting with parents, meeting with students, uh, meeting with community partners, and just trying to make wonderful things. There are times when we're working on bringing dental services to students. Just this week, we were out in Whatcom County um, at the migrant housing. Um, there's, there's two sites uh, that, that we're serving through Northwest ESD and we were able to bring dental services there, vision screenings, um, and all sorts of different resources to families. So um, it's hard to, to say what an average day would look like, but it looks different every day. I think the question I get a lot is, um, it's trying to understand what a migrant student is. They're, um, the, the word migrant is used a lot in, in, in our society to describe um, immigrants that are coming uh, to the United States, um, many times asylum seekers, um, or families that are just Im immigrating, migrating into our country. And we're a federal program. It's, it has to do with school. So when students are moving across district boundaries for the reason um, of pursuing work in agriculture, fishing, forestry, that qualifies them for our program as long as it's done within the last 36 months. So there's very specific guidelines about disrupted education for kids and um, really has nothing to do with immigration, has nothing to do with moving um, into the United States. So I feel like that is something that, um, that's a conversation that I have a lot with people. Something important for people to know about me uh, and my work is that I was born in Guadalajara. It's, um, it's a city in Jalisco and my parents were from the outskirts of, of the city. And uh, my parents, you know, they tried the best they could to give us opportunity. By us, I mean my brother and I. Um, but they knew that they couldn't provide for us all of the opportunities that maybe we could have if we were in the United States. So when I was three, my parents um, moved us to, um, to the U.S. and um, it was all in search of a better life for us. And I think that that's really important to know about me. Uh, thanks to their sacrifices, I was able to go to college and was uh, the first person in my, college, in my family to go to college. So uh, I think that's really important because I think that it really drives why I do what I do and I think it's an important part of my story uh, that I wanted to share.